Hey guys. Hey yard some what's up? Uh doing a little run DMC. Look, you know, I've got the joggers on today. First of all, happy Veterans Day, man. I know Clarence you're one. Jed, I believe you're a bachelor too, right? Anybody else in there I'm missing? Happy Veterans Day. Appreciate your service, yo. Good job. Um I'm a Navy vet, by the way. Uh, that game last night, uh, Jake's your video is spot on. And uh, Clarence, I'm gonna watch yours too. Um, I got faith in Smith. I got faith in what he's trying to build. I don't have faith in his ability to do something that Quinn couldn't do, and that's what he'll be to a player. Um, we watched this with Quinn, remember? Uh, his guy, you know, whether it be, look, everybody says that well, Rico was a weak link to a point. I'd rather have weak Rico right now than most of the safeties we have, but Rico is a uh, weak point. Um, he's loyal to a father, Vic, and other players. And, you know, Jake, you're right. That leader part comes to just what's the greater good. I mean, not only has uh, Mariota lost at least three games, you know, we know that. And you, you can just know you want the board. It's all bullshit, right? Um, but it's fumbling with the Saints inside the five-yard line. Just silly picks. And last night, man, they just, they did it right. Sell out on the fucking run. Make them play you. 30 passes, how'd he do? Yeah, he'll give you a touchdown, two here and there. But, I mean, it's, it's, it's pitiful. Um, taking my own... You know, is he a Taysom Hill? Can he be that type of player? Gadget? I don't know. Don't know. I give a shit. Is he a good backup? Probably. My problem is, and I think Jake, you said it, and other ones, Lethal, uh, Jason, everybody in here, is like, at what point do you see what you got on roster? I mean, it's repetitive. Let's just get it out. What do we have on roster? What are we gaining by not testing Redder? Um, same with Schaefer. Um, seriously, six round pick, test him out. Now for the year when you have no expectations and you're actually achieving them, and you're on a downward slide now because you are getting exposed to your weaknesses, test out the rookies, the youngsters, see what you got, dude. Um, you're gonna have 75 mil or some shit next year. Um, not having to buy a quarterback, big deal. If you got to build in answer on the you know, other line, let's say Schaefer is, I don't know what shape he's in, but he's good. You got six rounder that can work. You got depth. Hell, put Mayfield on, see what happens. Not really, I hate Mayfield, but the point is I, I see a resistance. Um, I don't know what Pease means. Uh, I see some good things on the defense. Uh, I love Pease as a coordinator. Is he with the times? I don't know, man. It's, it's getting harder to tell. We know we need an edge. Um, I mean, I'm gonna say something unpopular here. Why do we re-sign Grady? I mean, if we're still rebuilding, I mean, it's good, it's great. But again, are we rebuilding? Do we have a quarterback in place? Do we have a core? Or do we need to blow the fuck up our way? You know? Um, not saying trade Grady. I don't mean that. But what I don't want to see with Grady is waste the ability that we had with Matt and Julio, for example, for years. And then we just pissed it away that window. So that's what I'm getting at. So to me, leaking everything together, do what Jake said and others, and we've all been saying, I think, to a point, right? Start fucking Ritter. See what you got. If the kid is halfway good, he brings you half a deck. He's got a proving. Why not go with him? They'll save you some money, man. They'll save you some money. You'll have to go high round. And Texas quarterbacks are not that fucking great. I mean, I don't care. I don't like Stroud at all. Kind of like Hooker, but he's a project. Um, y'all want Bryce Young, y'all gonna be disappointed. That fool ain't good, dude. I'm just telling you. Um, thought the kid from Kentucky was okay, but... Uh, Ritter's as good as any of them. He might have been in the first round even this year. So try the kid out. See what you got. Try all your rookies out. See what you got. Let's get some youth in there. And, you know, if you're going to lose, so be it. I mean, does anybody really expect us to actually be at four wins? But last night's showing was pitiful. And I think having been on teams and even professional teams, like work teams, not, not football teams, the one thing I think everybody knows, yeah, you can have a leader, right? But when the leader can't produce, or the leader puts you in a bad position, it's demoralizing on both sides of the ball. It's demoralizing my team, right? If I have a project manager, it's great, right? He's leading my team. He's fantastic. But he has that slide where he can't produce, dude. You gotta fire him, you gotta move him, you gotta hide him, because it affects team performance. And right now, you can't tell me by looking at that thing that people are engaged. I mean, it's amazing pits and, and London, are, are kind of hanging on. I mean, if I'm Pitts, I'm like, what the fuck did you draft me number four for? You know, running a top 10 pick for what? To, to overthrow me, to, to barely throw me, to get me killed because I can't get any accuracy? Um, 
Grady's probably going, why did I sign this extension for this shit, you know? I think the defense could be fixed, but back to the reason why Mario's born. I think you said, Jake, you got the quarterback in place. You got him under a rookie cap. You got a, a useful backup. Let's get Mario to that, right? You're a lot better fucking position to be able to go. And let's say we got to move up. Let's just say you want Will Evers, which I like Will. Or Jalen Carter. I really like Jalen Carter. Also. Jalen Carter. Let's say I want Jalen Carter. Yeah, you could move up. Go get the big ball. Dawson. You want to get a Will Anderson because you need that type of guy. Sure. Um, maybe staying put the way you're dropping too. And then, okay, let's say you start losing. I don't think anybody's suggesting tank. But let's say the rookie has a hard time. Well, where are you having a hard time? Does it matter? I mean, just, just get us out of the way. So Smith, to me, like you, Jake, is kind of on that fence. What are you going to do now? Rose-colored glasses are off. Halfway through the season, we all know how this works. Everybody's had plenty of film on everybody. They know what Mario is about. He's predictable. He is predictable like any of us known for the last seven years. That said, last night was one of the worst games I've ever fucking seen. It was in now. Um, it was just terrible watch. I mean, I just like kept nodding off. And, uh, no, Carolina's not that great. I mean, just put this out there. Um, <laughs> they got some gifts. Would you agree? Um, Foreman, I don't know how we missed that either. Um, I mean, me and, the, me and Clarence both were high. Caleb's another one too, so I'm touching subjects. And I apologize for multiple subjects because it all just goes back to quarterback. I think I know some of Caleb Huntley. I love Caleb Huntley. I think he is a rotational back. I hate to call it a 240 pounder, 250 pounder, whatever he is, big boy, a change of pace. But I think he's a change of pace. Uh, Caleb is a pounder. He's a late night grinder. He's starting to remind me, ironically, of somebody that played fullback, sort of, but not really. Uh, you guys remember Zach Crockett? Zach Crockett was a, a young, young guy. He was Raiders. Fantastic, like, scoring machine. You give him some goal line touches. He pounded a thing, a little big bruiser. Uh, didn't have a lot of wiggle in his game. Kind of like Caleb's got a little bit more of him, maybe. Not much receiver. So I kind of I like the Caleb role. I don't see Caleb needing equal feedings. And I think Caleb's matchup dependent. Um, Algiers was interesting. Um, I don't really think they game planned him a lot in last night. But again, I, I watched that one screen, uh, I think it was. That Shaq Thompson knew what he was going to do. I mean, to be honest, Mario does not fool anybody. So back to that. Let me recap, dude. Play for the future. Play now. Uh, I'm going to quote Jason. If Ritter's ceiling and floor is what we got now, but he's got half more common sense, we got an upgrade. I think he's a much better passer. I scouted his shit up, and maybe I'm wrong, but I like the kid. I see a lot about him. He is a good leader. He has accuracy. He cares. He's, he's energetic. He's got the same mobility. He's a 4-5 four, quarterback, 4-4 four, four quarterback speed. Not losing athleticism. Two, you got to find a way to work these running backs better. Um, the problem with the running backs in fairness, though, I think we're going to have to figure out what to scheme for Dell. And I think Clarence, the point of them, he said slants. If with this Ritter, with this, this dumbass we're stuck with, the smiling Hawaiian dude who's a really cool dude, but I like to just punch him in the face while he beat me up. Um, get some slants over the middle. Get Cordell in space. Um, start playing Avery if you need to. You got to get some in space because if I'm game playing the Falcons down, dude, I'm just fucking cramming the front and I'm just bull rushing him. I mean, Mariota ain't shot shit. So, you know, he, that's like watching 1970s football, you know, with a, a bad quarterback. Just go deep 70 yards over throw and hope I get one in 10 attempts. Other ones, try the rookies out here. You got to turn them all out. I mean, it's about the next year. Uh, defense, man, I think it is what it is. I don't know what we're going to get, but, you know, and also, right now, in an opportunistic defense that, that's growing, has some talent, it really does need an offense that can control the game, that can score. And uh, to recap all this, back to Marietta, and it all starts with your quarterback. It started mad, it started whatever, right? If the offense can't sustain, the offense can't score, you will affect the defense. That's bottom line up front. If you're one-dimensional, you'll get three and out, like we did. I mean, they had a 52-yard fucking field goal attempt. They punted. What's that tell you about their respect for offense? Okay, here's you know, positive note, veterans. Happy Veteran Day. May you drink your beer, tap soda, your coffee, whatever. Jason, hang in there, man. Your son will figure this shit out. I got two criminal motherfuckers. They're doing fine. He loves you. Hang in there, brother. Goober, man. Hope all's good with your um, family on cancer. Uh, Ring of honor, bro. Namaste. Prayers to you.
Good healing. Obi, give me some betting tips. I need to make some extra money for this fucking wedding I got to pay for. I do love you, little rascal. Um, Jeb, happy Veterans Day. Uh, and, and Jake, man, good video. Hope this is enjoyable. Bye, y'all.